Bonjour mes amis, hi friends. In this tutorial, what I will do is that I will read zip files. So in the previous tutorial, what I did is that uh, I demonstrated a simple script in which it would read or uh, make a compressed file or a zip file of a particular uh, file. Like as in, the, when, uh, in the previous tutorial, I uh, compressed a .txt file. So however, you can compress mp4 mp4 files mp3 files or whatever kind of files that you have it doesn't have to be a, a text file now in this case so this was uh, let me show you this is the file secret.txt i compressed it and this archive.zip if you don't know how to do it watch out my check my previous tutorial i did it in that one so uh, what i did was i used this script to uh, compress it now for this one i will be using the interactive shell so let's go ahead and type in Python tree and we have to import OS and import zip file for this demo. After that, what we have to do is change our directory. So if I do that, get uh, CWD, what it says that it, my current directory is users MA uh, Academy. So this is not going to work because this zip file, this is in this directory documents. So we have to change directory. So OS dot uh, chdir and then here I have to specify it so it's users ma underscore academy and then documents now if you do a os dot get cwd you can see that our current working directory has changed so what you have to do now is that we have to keep a create a variable let's call this variable zip1 and what we do is that we say zip file dot zip file and then we specify the name of the zip file that we have so let's press enter so what this zip file is it's the name of the module that we imported in here so we are saying use the zip file function of this zip file module and then we are as an argument we are passing the name of this archived file which is this one archive.zip after you did this, you do this, what you do is that, um, let's see what files are there in that zip file, which currently there's only one file, secret.txt. So let's view that. So if you type in zip1, uh, after that we do name list. So what this, uh, so this zip1, this is this variable which stores this archive zip. And what this name list function does is that it lists all the files that has been compressed which in this case there is only one file and that is secret.txt so this is the file that I compressed inside this one after that um, so let's say we want to view the size of this file what is the size of it so for that we would have to uh, create another variable and in this case let's call it uh, zip info so we want to find information about zip you can name it anything you want and then we can type in something like zip1 which is uh, the variable that holds this um, zip file and then you can type in get info and the name of this which is secret.txt so this zip info is a new variable you are creating this zip one is this zip one this one which holds this archive.zip and then after that we are passing in this function called get info and we are passing this argument we are saying that get the information of the secret.txt file from this zip1 file which holds this archive directory and after that what you are seeing is that uh, what you do is that get me information about its size what is the name size of this file so what we do is that uh, we say file underscore size so it says 163 so what is this zip file this is this variable we created in here and then you are you saying that use this file size function so 163 is what is this this is bytes so if you go in here uh, right click on it and get info you can see that it says 163 bytes so 163 bytes this is the size of this file so what is the file of the what is the size of the zip file after it has been compressed how do you do that you type in zip info and then dot compress underscore size so what it says is that after you zip that file or compress it, the size is 105. So what is 105? It is 105 bytes. So in here, however, we can see 223 bytes. So it's probably 
some holding some other information about its zip file uh, but uh, this file uh, this is currently uh, it holds this uh, this is 163 bytes however after it has been compressed uh, the size becomes 105 bytes so after that uh, what you can do is that uh, make sure that after uh, you are done with working with this you should close it so we are using this zip one dot close what it does is that uh, it says close dot zip one file which is this archive file so when you are done make sure you close it so this is it for this tutorial guys if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to put it in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next one